Hey, what's up there, YouTube? Ben here with another quick video for you guys today. And if you're like me, you like to keep your home screen pretty minimalistic. However, it's kind of hard to find ways to do so. So if you're not on things like uh, Android communities on Google+, Plus, or if you don't go to a lot of forums, you probably don't get to see a lot of different Android home screens and all that you can do with them. So I'm here to show you guys how to make your Android home screen look maybe just a little bit better than it might already. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into the video right now. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys could probably want to go ahead and get is going to be Nova Launcher. Now Nova Launcher is a third party launcher that will go ahead and replace your regular Android home screen. So whether you're going to want to change the grid size, how your apps look, or maybe even hide your dock or your notification bar or something like that, it's going to allow you to do so. The second thing you guys are going to want to download is going to be an icon pack called Crytin. Now, it's 99 cents in the Google Play Store, however, the developer is awesome and also has it through a website, so if you want to get it for free and just download the APK itself, you can definitely go ahead and do so, but again, it is only 99 cents, so if you can support the developer, definitely go ahead and do so. The last thing on our list to get is probably going to be Shady, uh, which is my widget that I'm using for my clock. It's a UCCW widget that you can also get through the Google Play Store, or if you're, again, you want to type this into Google, you can go ahead and get it from there as well. Now the first thing you guys are going to want to do to set this up is go into your Nova settings, uh, go into desktop, and then desktop grid, and change the grid size to 7x4. And then after that, you can go ahead and move the apps how you want to. Uh, on your home screen and then from that point on uh, you're going to want to finally go ahead and change the apps and how it looks and so to do that you're going to want to long press then you want to go ahead and click edit then click the picture of the app and then swipe right and then you're going to see that you have your Crichton apps available and as you can see you have a full list of a lot of different apps. Now this person updates the apps constantly so even if there's not an app that is there specifically you can bet in the next couple weeks that it will probably be there and if not you can probably also email the developer too if you have any ideas for apps that you can go ahead and add as well but for the most part you're going to find any app that you need and if not use the closest thing towards it so I like to keep a lot of my apps in a folder and so I use a folder icon uh, basically so that way I don't have to go into the actual app drawer and have have to search for you know the apps that I use the most. Next you simply want to go into your widgets and drag in any size widget that you want to so it can be one by one, four by four, it doesn't really matter because the good thing about Nova launchers you can resize it however you want to and put that onto your home screen. Now when you do that it's going to give you an option of which widget that you want to use from the UCCW themes that you've already downloaded and you're going to want to go ahead and choose that shady theme that you've already downloaded. Uh, choose that and then again resize it however you want to and then you can also go into the app change the colors of the text and background and the shadow and all that kind of stuff if you want to get a little bit more complicated but that of course is optional anyways guys that's about it for this video remember you guys can make this home screen look however you want it to uh, now if you want to follow this step by step definitely go ahead and do so I mean I used to do that all the time pretty much just <laughs> copy other people's works that I'd see from Google Plus or Google Play or something like that um, and online and forums and all that kind of stuff and then I decided to finally start making it my own probably a couple of years ago so you guys can definitely do the same thing uh, it does take a little bit to be you know that creative because sometimes it is hard to think of new ideas and I keep my home screen uh, you know looking the same for probably like six months at a time before I finally decided to go ahead and change it mine is switching up the wallpaper every you know every few weeks or something like that but uh, anyways guys again that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out all my other videos I'm gonna have a lot more coming soon uh, so definitely be sure to go ahead and give those a look and then also of course if you are watching this today on the 4th have a happy and safe 4th of July, and I will catch you guys in the next one.